from Force 13 HQ. This is June 19th, 2017. Here's your Tropical Weather Bulletin. Hello, Monday morning, it's midnight UTC this June 19th and we have two systems active right now, 92L and 93L, though 92, the one which is approaching the Windward Islands, could be becoming a tropical cyclone at any time. There are tropical storm warnings in effect on that one and of course it's what we're going to be looking at tonight. Uh, of course it's the only two systems that we've got active right now and Invest 92L has 35 mile an hour winds and a pressure of 1007 millibars at 7.5 north, 51.4 west. Tropical storm warnings are in effect in uh, Barbados and in St. Vincent and the Grenadines in the western, in the um, Windward Islands rather. Um, Trinidad and Tobago will probably have warnings pretty soon as well considering that the system is likely to pass over or very near to those islands. This was the last SUS update, force13.co.uk forward slash SUS, storm early warning system. There'll be another update on this one shortly and regular updates throughout the day on Monday. As you can see, it's predicting a weak tropical storm that weakens into a depression later on in line with the National Hurricane Center's forecast. Here are the two systems together right now on either ends of the um, Atlantic picture there. 93L looking really big compared to 92L and that's moving towards the northwest and could develop very soon. The East Pacific is looking rather quiet. A few thunderstorms near the uh, tropical zones there but nothing that's likely to develop anytime soon. Looking quiet over in the East Pacific which is a little bit unlike it at this time of year. The West Pacific is equally as quiet. You can see a lot of um, really uh, rather treacherous activity going on um, over the Japanese islands. Some thunderstorms by the looks of things and some heavy rainfall occurring. Still all to do with the remnants of Murbok, believe it or not. And in the Australia and, West and South Pacific region, we've got that little... Uh, cyclone that seems to be swirling over there in the southern coral sea of extratropical nature heading towards New Zealand and in the Indian Ocean uh, not too much going on here either um, a ghost of a system by the looks of things in the southern Indian Ocean uh, but really nothing of note there Sea surface temperatures are pretty warm. If we're looking at the Caribbean, the western side is rather warm, 28 degrees plus, where 92L is right now possibly approaching 30. Uh, the rest of the Atlantic is pretty normal at this time of year, if not slightly warmer than normal, particularly in the main area. The Indian Ocean, very warm, 30 degrees plus in the southern area and in the Bay of Bengal too. And in the Philippine Sea, look at that, getting really warm and toasty over there, approaching 32 degrees. Here is a close-up of Invest 93L. We still don't know where the center is going to end up fully, but it looks in those latest frames as though on the right-hand side there, not too far from the Cayman Islands, something is going on, but still no confirmed low-level circulation yet in this system, and it's still a wait and see, but it looks as though it's generally going to move towards the northwest, entering through the Yucatan Channel into the Gulf of Mexico, and could become a possibly significant tropical storm as it approaches the Gulf Coast of the United States. So that's the latest on Invest 93. We'll still be watching that one for a while. So the numbers so far, 2017, if we've not already got another tropical depression by the time this video is out, it's going to still be two and 17 tropical storms, three category ones, one category two, two category threes, one four and one five. The total number of tropical storms so far this year is now up to 25, which is on the lower part of normal, but if we look at terms of the accumulated cyclone energy, ACE, it is the slowest start to a year since 1954. As you can see, all those very old years there were very low numbers, obviously observations weren't so good back then, so not too long till we overtake our first full season. The next name in the Atlantic is Brett and Cindy if we need it, we probably will. Don after that. Dora is next in the Eastern Pacific. Walaka in the Central Pacific beginning list four, followed by Aconi as we enter list one again there. In the West Pacific, Nanmadol is next, followed by Talas and Noru. And in the North Indian Ocean, we begin list seven with Oki and then Saga. Elsewhere in the Southern Hemisphere, not too long until the 2017-18 year calendar year begins. Hilda's next in the Australian region, Gabby Keel has only 11 days left to form, it probably won't, and Fahey is the next name in Fiji. That's all for now, more tomorrow.
You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.co.uk at your service at any time with its tracker. You can also find us on YouTube, search Force 13 if you're not there already. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find us on Facebook and on Twitter, search Force 13 all in text to find us on there. You can also add Fool13 on Skype, that's F00013 and an extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat. <laughs>